The Novena to the Holy Spirit, Day 8 Bend the stubborn heart and will, Melt the frozen, warm the chill, Guide the steps that go astray. The Gift of Wisdom Embodying all the other gifts, As charity embraces all the other virtues, Wisdom is the most perfect of the gifts. Of wisdom it is written, All good things come to me with her, and innumerable riches through her hands. It is the gift of wisdom that strengthens our faith, fortifies our hope, perfects charity, and promotes the practice of virtue in the highest degree. Wisdom enlightens the mind to discern and relish things divine in the appreciation of which earthly joys lose their savor, whilst the cross of Christ yields a divine sweetness, according to the words of the Savior, Take up thy cross and follow me, for my yoke is sweet and my burden light. Let us pray. Come, O Spirit of Wisdom, and reveal to my soul the mysteries of heavenly things, their exceeding greatness, power, and beauty. Teach me to love them above all and beyond all the passing joys and satisfactions of earth. Help me to attain them and possess them forever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Ghost On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to Thee, O Eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of thy purity, the unerring keenness of thy justice, and the might of thy love. Thou art the strength and light of my soul. In thee I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve thee by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against thee. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for thy light and listen to thy voice and follow thy gracious inspirations. I cling to thee and give myself to thee and ask thee by thy compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his opened side and stricken heart, I implore thee, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, 
so to keep me in thy grace that I may never sin against thee. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Father and of the Son, to say to thee always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Prayer for the Seven Gifts of the Holy Ghost O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Ghost to finish thy work in the souls of thine apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of thy grace and thy love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after the things that are eternal, the spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel, that I may choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with thee, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear of the Lord, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of Thy true disciples and animate me in all things with Thy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.